Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, is, um, a lot of you guys have seen this motor before. This is my experimental little model here. Um, on the rotor, I have two Neo magnets and 42s, three quarter inch, but they're it's actually taped on there because um, they're in repulsion, so they want to push each other apart. So uh, both these coils are set up to push the magnet away, and then you get a really nice effect because right here in the middle it attracts in and um, those that have followed my channel have seen this before so um, this part everyone's seen so what I did was I have this little circuit here that runs off a, um, a reed switch and I have the reed switch positioned on the bottom so um, these magnets are so strong that if you put the reed switch anywhere around here it, it's really hard to time it so what I did was I mounted on the bottom so you can see it down there um, because when this magnet goes through here it magnetizes the steel and then it actuates the um, the reed switch but what I found was a really cool effect it actually oscillates down there and um, yeah you'll get to see how that goes so um, this is my normal setup got the reed switch and then the two coils these coils are in series uh, we have our 12 volt battery this is uh, one to five amp meter and then this is a one amp meter and I have my favorite little cap dump right there um, on all my videos we have red and black as input and yellow and white as output so what we're gonna do here is get this started up so when I first do it it's kinda like an oscillator but as you start it up <coughs> as you can see look on the scope so usually with the reed switch you only have one pulse and um, so if we turn this up even more you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen pulses right now and um, we're using half an amp and then this is our output from the cap down so it's ticking along pretty good and it's neat on the cap dump, so I put this little green light. Um, so if you don't have an amp meter hooked up, you can see that it's actually working, which is cool. So uh, what we're going to do now is hook up this fan to be a, a much bigger load. So this is that 16-inch fan that I use in most of my videos, which makes a really good load. And... Um, to do is start this up so usually on a hall, a hall effects or reed switch circuit uh, when you put a bigger load it uses a lot more power but how this is set up for some reason it it acts um, a little bit more like a Houdini circuit which is really neat so as you can see over here now it's much more it's like somewhere in the 20s and um, and we're actually using just a little bit less power and if I slow it down with my finger a little bit more it'll actually go down even lower but you can see our charging has gone up quite a bit we're pulsing a lot faster in the output and we have this big fan load so a really neat effect and um, you could really hear the sound of it oscillating so not a real powerful motor but but it has a really neat effect you know this looks just like a Bedini circuit oscillating but it's just a reed switch right here so pretty cool you can see that cap dump just pulsing that battery up so we're doing about 900 milliamps every pulse and um, the lower the battery so if you start with a battery that's like 12.5 or 11.5 I mean you'll get a lot more out and as the battery charges up this will start getting less and less and go quicker yeah it's a really cool little experiment and um, if you guys want to try it I, I actually offer this circuit on my website as well as the cap dump so check out my store canergy.store and thanks for watching